seems a little hard to share. When I was 12 years old, my older sister Jocelyn and my younger sister Jasmine, we would play in the living room and we were just kids. And if you ever had that child like Innocence and played with your siblings, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. To play in an environment with your siblings, your brothers and your sisters, it brings you back to this childlike joy, to this place of peace and playfulness and fun that we used to have as kids. And every single day, my father would come home and he'd be all dirty from his work clothes and pissed off about the day. And he'd take his grungy lunchbox and throw it on the table and he'd storm in his bedroom and he'd slam the door and he'd lay down to take a nap because he was tired from working 10 to 12 hours that day. And I remember I was 12 years old at the time My dad was taking a nap in his room. My sisters and I, Jocelyn and Jasmine, were playing in the living room. And I heard my dad screaming. He's like, you guys need to shut up. or I'm going to come out there. And of course, being disobedient children, we we didn't shut up. And as the only brother and the only male, I was kind of always the protector of my two sisters to the best of my abilities. And when we didn't shut up, a couple minutes later, I heard thump, 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 thump. And my dad was coming down the hallway with a loaded 12-gauge shotgun. And he held that barrel so close to my face that I could actually smell the steel of the barrel. And he said to me, if you don't shut up, I'm going to shoot you right now. And in that moment, I thought to myself, why would someone hate just a young boy having fun? Young kids playing, being innocent. And I learned throughout my whole healing process that people project onto others what they feel inside. Now, my dad did the best he could. And he was raised in an environment that was very painful, with a lot of hurt and a lot of anger from his father. So he passed that down to me because he thought that was how men should be. And With that level of intimidation and violence in the household that I grew up in, and that level of fear, I started developing this inner rage. And maybe you can relate to that. Maybe you have this inner rage that just wants to come out. And for so long, my inner rage manifested as fighting, as alcoholism, as abusing all kinds of different things and toxic relationships, because inside I was hurting. Inside was this wounded little boy that was crying out for my father's love, to be loved and supported, to be validated. Now, for the longest time, I couldn't even look at my dad because I hated him so much. We got in so many physical altercations. He threatened to kill me multiple times. He's thrown hammers at my head. He's beaten me with fishing poles. He's ran me over with four wheelers. He's done just about everything he could except for actually physically kill me. And there were many times where I thought he was gonna kill me. When I started healing, I came across this word forgiveness and I thought to myself, forgive, forgive him. He doesn't deserve my forgiveness. And I remember the moment that I sat down on a couch and it brings me back to this moment right now because I can feel the emotion coming up. I sat on the edge of this couch and I closed my eyes and I envisioned this picture of my father. And I envisioned my dad as a little boy. I envisioned my dad as as this sad little boy that was just projecting all this anger out. And I started saying the words out loud, I forgive you, dad, I forgive you, dad, I forgive you, dad. And just pouring out tears down my face, just so loud you could hear them hitting the floor. That process of forgiveness has been many years. Now, you may think, well, why would you ever have a relationship with your dad now? Because I chose to because I actually have a great relationship with my dad now, all because of one word, forgiveness. And I think back to this time when I had moved back home from California for a period of time for about six weeks when I was looking for an apartment and I moved in with my dad. And there's a saying by Ram Dass that says, if you think you're enlightened, go spend a week with your family. Well, 
I put that to the test and it's the absolute truth. When I moved back in with my dad, all those old wounds started showing up again. And I knew I was there because I had more work to do, more inner work. And in the middle of the night, I, I had this vivid dream. And in the dream, I got this phone call. And the phone call was this woman at a hospital. And she said to me, Jake, your dad's been in a bad car accident and he's not gonna make it. And I thought to myself, as I woke up from this dream, I was crying hysterically. That was the death of the hatred that I had towards my father, the final cord cutting. And I wrote this poem that came through at 2.30 in the morning. And I wanna share that poem with you right now. This is the poem that I wrote for my dad. I forgive you for sleeping with a shotgun behind your door. I forgive you for always making me feel like you wanted more. I forgive you for wishing that I was dead. I forgive you for throwing a hammer at my head. I forgive you for beating me with a fishing pole until I bled. I forgive you for making me feel like I wasn't enough and always being so tough. I know you grew up rough. I forgive myself for closing my heart, shielded from the very start. I forgive myself for being so angry toward you and I appreciate all that you continue to do. I forgive myself for holding on to this pain for so long. It's like playing the same old sad song. I now give myself permission to release these cold steel hooks from my heart. It's time for a fresh start. You see, when we forgive, we create a better place to live. When people hurt you, it's because they hurt too. And they need our love to rise above. I love you, Dad, because I learned how to love and forgive myself. Thank you for one of the greatest lessons of all, forgiveness. So my question for you today is this, who in your life have you closed your heart to? Who do you need to really forgive? Is there a person, maybe your father or your mother, that has wounded you so bad and has caused you to repress your inner light, the beautiful light within you? If you are looking for a safe place, a safe container to release this pain, I would love to have you join my next spiritual healing retreat. Go to jakewitter.com forward slash retreats to register today. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I love you and I appreciate you.